Hi. I'm Armour de Vosenef, but I sometimes go by the name of Graham Peter King as well. If you, uh, after hearing this, if you want to hear or find out more, uh, you can Google Armour de Vosenef and you'll probably find me, hopefully just me. Okay, a couple of poems here. This one I've called Dr. Pan Gloss Revisited. But then I thought it might be a bit pretentious to call a poem after a literary character in a book I've never actually read myself. <laughs> so you can just call it Outlook Sunny. I try to look at every chance of life in the best light. And by viewing mishaps askance, so minimize my plight. When leeches tap my fevered brow and are my lifeblood lapping, I'm glad they're not sized like a cow, for then there'd be more sapping. <laughs> when ocelot purloin my food, sees fish, say, with jaws furry, I comment, don't their coats look good, and aren't they nice and purry? I would reflect on things likewise if swallowed by a whale. Great chance to muse, philosophize, free ocean tour, grand tale. Then, spewed up on a beach far off, I bask, and thankful be, with a self-deprecating cough, such luck laid on for me. A piano falling from the sky and crushing me to gel, I'd scrutinize with ear and eye, sound woodwork and tuned well. And thus I take the kindest view of every fate I meet. It may not save me loss, nor you, but turns the bitter sweet. Yes, I, like you, am mortal dust, and happy now to tell it. So when your life gives you lemons, just make lemonade and sell it. <laughs> Imagine me about so high. It's called Robots at My Tricycle. <laughs> That's a true story. <coughs> Robots ate my tricycle. They ate it fast and sore. They'd lost some of their parts, you see, and found they needed more. Well, they didn't really eat it, just consumed it double quick, as fast as if they ate it up. Those robots, super slick. The bearings gave them wrists and knees, the handlebars an arm, because when they wrestle monsters, even robots come to harm. And likewise, all the tubing, replacing thighs and shins, robots have their bones on show, not covered up by skins. The cables for their sinews, they're equipped with extra strength, would be another thing they'd use once snipped to the right length. The brakes they used to fix their brakes, with bolts and nuts as well. The tires, they'd burn as fuel. It would make a horrid smell, but robots wouldn't mind that, with no sense of scent or taste. They're ever so efficient and let nothing go to waste. <laughs> All went. Into some kneaded shape they'd melt the saddle plastic, so not a bit was left after those robots' actions drastic. They had my pedals, ankle joints, the mud guards, ribs, and sprocket. And after they took all these bits, they took off in their rocket. I'm sad to lose my tricycle, but rather happy too to know it roams the galaxy as parts of you know who. Super speed and secrecy are part of their design to help fulfill each mission and then go, leaving no sign. I wish I'd really seen them, but the evidence was clear. Only robots can so quickly make tracks disappear. It must have been those robots. No humans were about. I'd better tell my mum and dad and hope that they won't shout. <laughs>